<clears throat> okay, good uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Retro Get Entropy, and yeah, I'm back. Uh, is the new year? I've been meaning to do a video for the last couple of days, but I'm just like, meh, didn't feel like it. So I figured I'd do one today. Um, it's kind of at the stage where. I don't really feel like I need to do videos because the main purpose of doing the videos was to talk about my progress. And um, definitely when you talk about things, it's easier to think about um, things. It's sort of a thinking process. So you're talking and you're thinking and you're thinking and you're talking and you tend to think of more things and you tend to get more progress. And it's giving yourself feedback and it's also doing things every day so it increases your focus as well so there's a lot more focus when it comes to videos um <clears throat> i'm not sure that that's really necessary anymore which is why i haven't been doing a lot of them but it was very much when i started off on my leave i was very much in crisis mode so keeping a handle on everything um and obviously trying to get as much good progress and overcome as many hurdles as possible as quickly as possible. Now I'm think I'm past that point where um, I've sort of like at the start I was looking forward and there was hurdles everywhere and I didn't know if I was going to be out of successful. Now I'm at the point I've been on leave for three months. I got one month left <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that I have been successful. Now there's degrees of success. I wouldn't say I, it's like a miracle 100% success but it's definitely, it's on that side. If I was going to say that 100% success completely cured everything fine, go back to five days straight away, um, was 100%, then I'd say I'm at like 80%, I would say, off the top of my head. I was verging on 70, but honestly, the way I'm feeling today... The way I'm feeling for the last few days, I'd say 80%. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, and honestly, I think if I could go back, if I had to go back and do five days, I could probably cope. I could probably cope um, with that. Now, my plan is to go back and do four days a week for two months and then hopefully transition to five days a week after that. <clears throat> and I think that's a smart plan. So as I said, I probably could go back and do five days but it's smarter to do four days a week for two months and then transition on to five days a week. But yes, I'm definitely feeling very good at the moment. Um, <clears throat> last few days, <clears throat> I've sort of, so I've made a few changes. Um, so I'm no longer doing two walks a day because there's been a few hot days and just going out and doing a walk in the afternoon, in the evening seems to be, I just don't feel like doing it. And I've got I seem to have the most amount of energy in the morning so as soon as I get up I'm I've got so much energy like <clears throat> I got more motivation <clears throat> and more energy and I'm starting to walk to work towards getting a schedule in my holiday that I can keep going in the future when I'm back at work <clears throat> so my goal is to do a half hour walk in the morning followed by a workout I think that's the order I want to do it I'm not sure if it really matters maybe a workout and then a walk not sure the order, but right now I've been doing a walk and then a workout later on. And then in the evening, I have a shower before I go to bed. And that's great because it means I wake up and I'm ready to go straight away. All I do, I get dressed and then I can just go and walk straight away, which is really good. <clears throat> uh, I've been getting up about 5 a.m., which is, yeah, so you get a half hour walk and then you work out. So I probably won't be able to get to work at 6 a.m. anymore. It might be 6.37, but... It's not a huge problem if that happens. It's more important to get the walk and the uh, workout every morning, <clears throat> no matter what. And then if I get to work late, I get to work late. Because I'm used to getting there at 6, but whatever. And I'm not going to try and make myself wake up at like 4 a.m. or something like that. Right now, I go to sleep at 9, wake up at 5. That seems to be pretty consistent. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep doing that. And if I happen to get to work at 6.30 or something like that, then yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so other than that, my walking, I did uh, 16 minutes this morning. So I'm going to continue to push myself up an extra minute uh, every day until I get up to 
well, I'll get up to 20 minutes. I'll do that for a few days and I'll continue to push myself up to 30 minutes. Because uh, it's a little bit scarier doing the whole lot in one go instead of two separate goes. But I think it's definitely the right thing. And this morning, when I did 60 minutes, I didn't feel tired. My leg felt a little bit sore. But that was only in the first few minutes. After that, it sort of um, just worked itself out. So I think it should be okay. But I'm taking it slowly. Always take it slowly. Always gradual. So yeah. Food is still a little bit of an ongoing concern. I haven't really got my half meal sorted out. I've kind of just kind of been snacking through that part of the day. Um, yeah, the tacos with tomato on them, it's not filling at all. I got it, and meat is, what I think you're doing is buying some red meat, putting it in the freezer. I got my second freezer, so putting it in the freezer and just having a crap load of it and thawing it out. But again, I cooked some lamb cutlets a few days ago and I put them in for a long time, like half an hour in the convection microwave which is a long time and they still tasted a little bit undercooked so i don't know but i'll have a couple more of them today um and i'm kind of getting sick of my chicken sticks which is half of my total meals at the moment so only the drumsticks are persisting as food that i like to eat every day so i might have to do something about that but i'm feeling like my ibs is improving with my chronic fatigue and the main reason I say that is because three days ago I had um, Uber Eats with a burger and chips. Um, didn't make me sick. And yesterday I had a pizza. Didn't make me sick. And this wasn't like a gourmet pizza. This was just a run-of-the-mill fast food pizza with a dim sim and some um, fried chicken wings on the side. And it didn't make me sick. It's like, what the hell? It's I, When I started leave, that stuff would have been terrible. Um, so I don't know, maybe my uh, constitution is getting better. So I'm not going to throw myself on the Uber Eats and stuff like that, obviously, but I am going to be hopefully a little bit less paranoid about buying red meat, cooking it up and then eating it. Because a lot for a long time it was like I can cook anything and I can do it perfectly and it'll still make me feel a bit funny. So maybe that phase is starting to go away. And if that's the case, then I can go and cook a lot more red meat and throw it together and just do it whenever and that could be my half meal or put some of the red meat into my full meals and stuff like that now we'll see how we go so anyway yeah um so everything's going pretty good uh, i have been playing a lot of computer but uh it hasn't been tiring me out a ton i guess it definitely hasn't stopped me from walking or doing anything else that i need to do and i have been listening to myself which you know if like a couple of days ago i did five hours in a row of heavy playing and that was a mistake and i knew afterwards that was a mistake but this morning i've done like three hours of playing and then i started to feel a bit tired so i stopped i did my workout i'm going to have some breakfast and i might watch a movie or do some puzzle books i got so many puzzle books there's so many different types of crazy sudoku that uh, are out there so i'm really getting into those i'll probably bring a couple to work and do them in my lunch break um, not because I want to sort of show off and say, hey, look at this, I can do these fancy puzzle books, but because I want something to do during lunch that doesn't involve me looking at a computer. So reading is, eh, you've got to have an engaging book, and if you don't have an engaging book, it's tough, but a puzzle book's always engaging for some reason. So I might bring a couple of those, and that'll pull me away from a computer monitor for half an hour, which I think is important during an eight-hour day. We were always on the computer. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's my plan. Just continue to increase the walking. Um, and yeah, I've went off the, the triple pyrrole medication. I'm back down to double. I did that for like a week and a bit. So I'm back down to my normal medication. Uh, it's Friday. So I think I'll wait to the end of the week, another few days. And then I'll start to integrate some of the new pills that my naturopath gave me a few weeks ago. See how that goes. <clears throat> Hopefully no problems because right now i'm doing really well so i don't want any chemical problems at this point but maybe they'll make me better that would i mean they're supposed to be making me better so that would be nice if they actually do um but yeah we'll just uh we'll just see how we go and yeah i a lot if nothing changes then i probably won't be doing that many more videos this may potentially be the last video um <clears throat> Well, I might do like a couple more closer to the time when I go back to work and maybe a couple after I go back to work. But look, 
My number, my number one priority is recovering from chronic fatigue. And if that means that I decide that doing a video is going to time me out, then I'm not going to do a video. Okay. I, it doesn't matter how I uh, like this, obviously this YouTube video, this channel, there's a lot of people watching it or well, not a lot of people. But there's a few people. I've got comments back. I've got people asking me what's going on. I've had a video where I was like, oh, I'm shit. And then somebody comes back and says, have you recovered yet? What the hell's going on? Because I didn't release a video for like a week. Um, and yeah, so obviously I don't want to, if people are actually engaging in these videos, I don't want to leave people in the dark. If people want to know, you know, what's it like being back at work and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But 100%. If I decide it's a bad idea for me to be doing a video for whatever reason, chronic fatigue related, I'm not going to make a video. It's, it's as simple as that. If you really want to know how I'm doing, leave a comment. I will answer the comment. I'll, I'll always answer the comment. There's no amount of chronic fatigue that will stop me from answering a comment. But making videos does seem to be tiring me out um, like this. Right now, it just it seems to be, I don't know. I don't know how I was making videos all over the place when I started my leave and I had tons of chronic fatigue, I don't know. I think a lot of it is like mental, like um, mental conditioning, like you get to the point, yeah, like you don't notice <clears throat> some things that make you tired and then once you notice that they make you tired, it's hard to unnotice. So I feel like making videos was tiring me out, um, but I just didn't notice. Because I was so excited about making videos and I was kind of bored and I was doing stuff and blah, 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 blah. And then when I started to have problems with my pyro medication and other things, I really started to notice that making videos was tiring me out. And after that, it's hard to not notice anymore. It's kind of just, uh, it's kind of, yeah, you, you, you notice a lot more when you're doing it that it's kind of tiring you out. Similar things with other things like playing computer games, but computer games... I've still got enough of an interest. It still provides me with enough positives like entertainment, makes me happy and so forth that I'll continue doing it to a certain point. Um, making the videos, as I said, I, I don't really need them for personal feedback or going through my thought processes or anything like that anymore. I feel like I'm past that point. So it's just, right now, it's just kind of the idea of doing a video every day is just like, it's a drag. It's a total drag. So definitely not going to do that. But anyway, um, I will probably do another video or two at the end of the month before I go back. And of course, I will answer comments. And if you've got any questions, um, let me know. And I, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm very happy that I've gotten so much better. I'm very happy that I've got so much better using mostly natural vitamins because I have had some recommendations um, from people to take this and this and this. And it's it's like there's, there's natural vitamins and then there's chemicals and that sort of stuff. And I really didn't want to take any of those. So I'm happy that I've got so far without taking any of those. Um, but yeah. So anyway, if you've uh, got anything you want to ask me or anything like that... Um, please let me know, and if there's enough interest, I might do a video on it, but we'll see how we go. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.